Now, victims of the Dropin' Well pub bombing in Northern Ireland have been remembered on the 30th anniversary of the atrocity. Six civilians and 11 soldiers, eight of them from the Cheshire Regiment, were killed when a bomb that was planted by the Republican paramilitary group, the INLA, went off without any warning. Our reporter in Northern Ireland, Fiona Weir, spent the weekend with friends and relatives of those who died in the village of Ballykelly. The regular Monday night disco on the 6th of December 1982 was packed with around 150 people when at just after 11 o'clock the bomb went off. It took many hours to pull survivors from the rubble and it was not until 10.30 the next morning that the last of the bodies was recovered. The INLA later claimed responsibility for the attack, saying they had targeted the pub because it was frequented by soldiers from the nearby barracks. Shackleton Barracks, where the Cheshires were based from 1982 to 1984, has now closed. But each year, many of those who were affected by what has now become known as the Bally Kelly bombing travel from all over the UK to pay tribute to the 11 soldiers and six civilians who lost their lives that night. It was just one casualty after another. A man jumped up or a boy jumped up and said a girl needed help, but when I knelt down beside her, she was entirely mashed up and bleeding profusely and I knew that she was dying. All she said was, can you hold me? Which is what I did and, and she died. It's so vivid. I can imagine it now as if it was that night. All the smiling faces, the joy, the happiness, and then all of a sudden it's gone within seconds. Till the day I die, I won't forget, I had a son. And we've got a, photo, a couple of photographs of him on the wall at home, which I look at, you know, and think sometimes, what a waste. It's 30 years on, but for me, it, it could have been last year because the events of that night are still very, very, very vivid in my mind. Today we've just arrived, we're all meeting. Uh, having a few pints and talking about the good times, the bad times. But tomorrow afternoon it will be uh, a very formal event when names are read out in the church and everyone that listens to those names will be able to tell a story about each one of them. Private Terrace Adam, Army Catering Corps, Lance Corporal Stephen Bagshaw, Cheshire Regiment, A Company, Alan Callaghan, Bally Kelly, Lance Corporal Clinton Collins, Cheshire Regiment, A Company, it's almost like a family celebration um, of the lives of those who died. Um, we come together, not just today, every time we get together we remember these young lads that, that died. Uh, and it means everything, it really does. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. It's nice to meet everybody else who's been involved in such a, you know, a tragedy. Yeah. United in grief. Yeah. An oak tree to symbolise the Cheshire Regiment's bond with the village of Ballykelly was planted to mark the 30th anniversary of the tragedy which served to bring together the small County Londonderry community. Fiona Weir, Forces News, Ballykelly.